Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering complete unit 2 in PPS. I will explain each and every topic in detail. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. I have given study material of this unit 2 in description, you can download from there. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is an array and what is one dimensional array and two dimensional array guys arrays are used to store multiple values in single variable instead of declaring separate variable for each value for example if i want to declare value to a variable then i need to declare like int a equal to 10 comma b equal to 20 comma c equal to 30 comma d equal to 40 for each value i took separate variable for example if i want to store value 10 i took variable a and if I want to store value 20, I took B. And similarly, if I want to store 30 and 40, then I took variable C and variable D. But if I want to store all these values, 10, 20, 30 and 40 in single variable, for that purpose, we use arrays. For example, instead of taking separate variable for each value, I can take only single variable and then I include values in that in A of it, this is square bracket to create an array define data type array name and square brackets this is an example here I took int A of 5 equal to 10 20 30 40 and 50 where int is data type A is name of an array and 5 is size of an array we need to include size in square brackets. Here 5 represents size of an array. For example, if I want to store 5 values like 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. If I want to store 5 values, then I need to include size as 5. For example, if I want to store 15 values, then here I need to include size as 15. You need to include values inside curly brackets. And you need to close with semicolon. An array contains data type, array name and size of an array. Where we need to include size of an array in square brackets. Or you can also write like this. Data type, variable name, size. Variable name and array name both are same. Example, int a of 5. Where we need to include 5 in square bracket. Guys, it is not mandatory to include size of an array. You can also write like this. You can also write like this int a open square bracket and close square bracket is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 whenever you declare like this whenever you do not include size then automatically this array will take size automatically it will count these values 10 20 30 total there are three values so automatically it will take size as three so it is not mandatory to include size of an array an array must contain only similar type of elements for example here i took int a so i need to declare only integer elements here and array should not contain mixed type of elements for example here i took one value as integer one value as float and one value as character I should not declare like this. If I declare like this, it will display error. So, if I declare here float, I need to take only float elements. If I declare here character, I should take only character elements. And if I take here integer, I, I should take only integer elements. I should not declare mixed type of elements in an array. Here I took into a of 5. That means size of an array is 5. Whenever I declare size as 5, this array will create five memory locations one two three four five because i given size as five so an array will give index numbers for this you need to remember one important thing that is index number always starts with zero not with one here i given values 10 20 30 40 here i took size as five but i given only four values so this value 10 is stored in index number zero value 20 is stored in index number 1 and 30 and 40 are stored in index number 2 and 3 this is how values are stored in an array example if i declare here value as 50 then this 50 is stored in index number 4 total i given 5 values 10 20 30 40 and 50 so it created 5 memory locations and and first location starts with index number 0 so this first value is stored in index number 0 similarly second third fourth fifth values are stored in index number 1 2 3 4 
This is how we store elements in an array. This is simple program of how to access elements in an array. Here I took int a. This square bracket represents array. Here I took integer because I want to declare integer values. So I took data type as int. Int a square bracket open and close is equal to I given values as 10, 20, 30, 40 all are integer values. You need to include values inside curly brackets otherwise it will display error message and close statement with semicolon. Printf percentage %d here I took percentage %d because for integer we use format specifier percentage %d comma a of 0 that means whatever the value that is present inside index 0 will be printed as output i already said before first value is stored in index number 0 and second value is stored in index number 1 third in index 2 and fourth in index 3 here i took a of 0 so output is 10 for example if i take here a of 1 then value which is present in index number 1 will be printed as output so output is 20 this is example this is another example here i took float data type because i want to declare float values so i took here float data type i want to print all these values i want to print 1.5 1.6 1.7 so for that purpose i need to write percentage f percentage f comma percentage f i took three format specifiers because I want to print three values as out comma a of 0 comma a of 1 comma a of 2 that is values which are present in index number 0 index number 1 and index number 2 will be printed as output so output is 1.5 which is present in index number 0 1.6 comma 1.7 this is output here for this program I got output as 10 because here I declared index number 0 so i got output as 10 but i want to change this value 10 to 100 so for that purpose i need to write a of 0 is equal to 100 that means value which is present in index number 0 is changed to 100 so now i will get output as 100 for example if i want to change this value 20 as 200 then i need to write a of 1 is equal to 200 this is how we manipulate elements in an array for example i want to get output values along with index numbers like a of 0 is equal to 25 a of 1 equal to 35 i want to get output like this so for that purpose i use for loop these are the four values that i declared to an array a they are 25, 35, 45 and 55 and similarly for this index numbers this index numbers are integers so here I took int i now I need to write for loop for index numbers so here I took four values 25 stored in index number 0, 35 in 1, 45 in 2 and 55 in index number 3 so every index number starts with 0 so here I took i is equal to 0 semicolon i less than 4 because still 3 now so I took here i less than 4 semicolon i plus plus inside for loop i need to write a statement in order to print output for that purpose i use printf inside double quotations i need to write a of percentage d is equal to percentage d this percentage d belongs to index number and this percentage d belongs to array of elements so by writing this statement i will get output as a of 0 is equal to 25, A of 1 is equal to 35, A of 2 equal to 45 and A of 3 equal to 55. This is output. Here value of i starts with 0. So at first it will replace value of i with 0. And similarly A of i value of i 0. A of 0 mean value which is present in index number 0 will be printed as output. So I will get output as A of 0 is equal to 25 until this condition is satisfied i will get output till now what we have discussed is one dimensional array in one dimensional array array contains only one square bracket where we will include size in it but in two dimensional array array contains two square brackets where first square brackets represent size of rows and second square bracket represent size of columns this is one dimensional array it contains only one square bracket where we include size in it but in two dimensional array it contains two dimension that is two square brackets where first square bracket represents size of rows and second square bracket represent 
size of columns. For example, if I declare a of 2 into 2, that means it will create 2 rows and 2 columns where I can store 4 elements in it, that is 2 into 2, that is 4 elements I can store in it. And this 2 dimensional array looks same like matrix. In matrix also we store same like this, so we can also call this 2 dimensional array as matrix. This is syntax of 2 dimensional array, it contains data type, array name, size of rows and size of columns, where we need to include square brackets for size of rows and size of columns. This is example into a of 2 into 2 that means it will create 2 rows and 2 columns where 2 into 2 I can store 4 elements in it. a of 0 0 it will start with 0 a of 0 0 represents first row first column and a of 0 1 represents first row second column and a of 1 0 represents second row first column and similarly a of 1 1 represents second row and second column. This is an example. In this example I took int a of 2 into 2. That means it will create 2 rows and 2 columns. 2 into 2 means I can store 4 values. So I am declaring 4 values as 1, 2, 3, 4. Whenever I declare this, it will create 4 storage locations. That is 1 is stored in first row first column, 2 is stored in first row second column, 3 is stored in second row first column and 4 is stored in second row second column. You can also declare like this, both are same. This is an example of two dimensional array. In this example, I took 3 rows and 3 columns. So I can store 9 values in it. So I am taking values as 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4 and 4, 5, 6. Without including this curly brackets also you can write. And next I took int i equal to 0 and j equal to 0. That means this i belongs to rows and this j belongs to columns. As I said before, every index number starts with 0. So, so here I took i equal to 0 and j equal to 0. So now I need to take two for loops. One is for rows and one is for columns. So here I took for loop as i equal to 0, i less than 3 and i plus plus. That means it will create 3 rows 0, 1, 2. And similarly for column j equal to 0, j less than 3, j plus plus. That means it will create 3 columns. They are 0, 1 and 2. And in order to generate output I need to write printf percentage d. This percentage d belongs to row i. And similarly, next percentage d that belongs to column j is equal to percentage d. This percentage d belongs to values. So, by writing this printf statement, I will get output like this. As I said before, every index number starts with 0. So, I took value of i as 0 and j as 0. That means it will replace value of i row with 0 and value of column with 0. And a of 0, 0 means value which is in first row and first column. So, I will get output as 1. Similarly, 0, 1 mean value which is in first row and second column. So, I will get output as 2. This is output. This is an example of two dimensional array. Next topic is strings and various functions of strings. We call group of characters as string. For example, college, boy, csc, hello world, all these are group of characters. We call group of characters as string. For example, if you consider character data type, by using character data type, we can store only single character. For example, character a equal to c. We can only store single character by using character data type. But if you want to store multiple characters in single variable, then you need to use string. For example, if you consider other programming languages like python, php, there is string data type. But in c, there is no string data type. So, if you want to create any string, then you need to use character data type along with array. By using character data type and along with array, you can create string. This is example. Character A open square bracket and close square bracket. The square brackets represent array. Character A equal to hello world. You can write any string inside this like name, college, etc. And definitely you need to include double quotations for string. For single character, you need to include single quotations. But for multiple characters, you need to include double quotations. Another important thing that you need to remember is for string, we use format specifier percentages where S stands for string. This is example program. 
here I written character A. I open square bracket and then I close the square bracket. Inside square bracket, we need to write size of string. For example, if my string contains 10 characters, then I need to write size of string as 10. This is example. For example, here my string name is boy. It contains 1, 2, 3, 3 characters. So here I given size as 5. Whenever you give size as 5, that means maximum you can assign only 5 characters. Or you can also assign less than 5 characters. This boy is 3 characters. So whenever you declare size as 5, that means you can assign 5 characters or less than 5 characters to the variable A. It is not mandatory to include size. You can also write like this A. I open square bracket and then I close the square bracket. Inside this, I did not given any size. Whenever you do not assign size to this variable, then automatically this variable A will count how many characters are present. Like it will count 1, 2, 3. Total there are 3 characters and by default it will take value as 3. So it is not mandatory to assign size of the variable. This is string declaration. String declaration means I am not assigning any values to the string. Just I am declaring string like character A of 10. Here I did not assign any value. I will assign value by using scanf. So here I written just character a of 10. I will give one program. Here I written character a of 10. That means I can store up to 10 characters. And after that I written printf enter text by writing this printf function in output screen. I, I, I can see enter text. And next I written scanf percent yes, comma and a. And after that I written printf your text is percentage s comma a by using this scanf function i can write string so here i given string as hello so whenever i write hello i can see output as your text is hello as i already said in this first character is stored in index number 0 and second character in index number 1 third in 2 and so on index number starts with 0 first character is stored in index number 0 so whenever i write here printf percentage c comma a of 0 here i written percentage c because i want to print only single character so here i written percentage c comma a of 0 that means value which is present in index number 0 will be printed as output so in index number 0 value is h so here i will get output as h for example if i want to change this value h to j then here i need to write a of 0 equal to j we need to write j in single quotations that means value which is present in index number 0 will be changed to j now h is changed to j that means value which is present in index number 0 will be changed to j now i will get output as j e l l o w r l d instead of declaring string like this you can also declare like this character a open square bracket close square bracket that equal to open curly bracket and inside curly bracket for each character i need to include single quotations after writing enter character you need to write slash zero at the end where slash zero is null terminator meaning of slash zero is end of string there are various functions present in string i will explain each with an example first one is strlen function where strlen stands for string length if you want to find the length of string then you need to use strlen function this is example here i written character a of 20 equal to nagendra and inside printf i written length of string is percentage d comma strlen of a by writing strlen of a it will count the length of string a that means it will count how many characters are present 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total there are 8 characters present so now i will get output as length of string is 8 you may get doubt like why i am using here percentage d as it is string i need to use here percentage s but why i am using here percentage d because i am printing length of string length of string is integer character so here i am using percentage d where strlen stands for length of string i will get output as z because this length of string is z this one is strcpy function where strcpy stands for string copy if you want to copy data from one string to another string, then you need to use strcpy function. This is example. Here I written character a of 20 equal to Nagendra. 
and similarly i took another character that is character b20 now i did not given any value to it now i want to copy this data that is nagendra to this character b so for that purpose i need to use string copy here i written string copy a comma b by writing strcpy of a comma b that means data which is present in a variable a will be copied to b here i written printf value of second string is percent i s comma b now by writing this function this data is copied to this variable b now i will get output as value of second string is nagendra one is str rav function str rav stands for string reverse for example if you want to convert string in reverse manner then you need to use str rav function this is example here i written character a of 20 equal to naga and here i written print f percent i s str rav of a now by writing this str rav rav of a this string is converted in reverse manner i will get output from last to first so now i will get output as a g a n this is output next one is str lwr function where str lwr stands for string lower for example if you want to convert string in lower case that is to small letters then you need to use str lwr function this is example Here I written character a of 20 called Naga, which is in capital letters. Now I written print f percent i s comma h t r l w r of a. Whenever you write this, this string is converted to lower case letters. So I will get output as n a g a, which is in small letters. And next one is h t r u p r. This is opposite to lower. h t r u p r stands for string upper function. For example, if you want to convert string to upper case, then you need to use h t r u p r. Here I written character a of twenty equal to naga, which is in lower case. Now I want to convert this naga to capital letters. So for that I need to write print f percent i s comma h t r u p r of a. By writing this h t r u p r of a, I will get the output as n a g a, which is in capital letters. Next one is h t r c m p function, where h t r c m p stands for string compare. If you want to compare two strings, then you need to use string compare function. This is example. Here I written character a equal to naga. comma b equal to naga if str cmp of a comma b equal to 0 that mean values which are present in variable a and variable b if both are same then i need to get output as equal else print f not equal if this both values are not equal then i should i should get output as not equal Here I written a equal to naga and b equal to naga. These both are same, so I will get output as equal. For example, here I written naga and then here I written some other name like Raju. Then both are not equal, so I will get output as not equal. This is example of string compare function. Next topic is structures in C. For example, if you consider arrays, in arrays we can store only similar type of elements. For example, if you consider this example, in this example I written int a and I open square bracket and close square bracket. Whenever you write like this, you can store only integer type of elements and I cannot store mixer type of elements. Here I written int a equal to ten. 10.5 and c, where 10 is integer type and 10.5 is float float data type and this c is character data type. I cannot declare like this in arrays. I cannot store mixer type of elements in an array. If you want to group variables of different data types in one place, then you need to use structures. Structures are a way to group variables of different data type in one place each variable in structure is also known as member of structure whatever the variables that we are declaring in such structure we call these variables as members like arrays a structure can contain many different data types as i said before by using structures we can store variables of different data types this is syntax of structure 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 tag structure tag is nothing but name of structure and open curly bracket inside this we need to write members members are nothing but variables of different data types this is an example for structures we need to use keyword struct for integers we use keyword int and similarly for character char and similarly for structures we need to use keyword struct here i written struct book book is name of structure and after that i open curly brackets and inside curly brackets i written int pages float price character author where this pages is variable name and if this int is data type as i said before by using structures we can store variables of different data types in one place so here i stored variables pages price and author 
if three are variables of different data types i stored these variables in single place by using structure only pages contain numbers like 10 pages 20 pages 30 pages so that i return here into pages and for price i'm declaring price as 10.5 rupees 10.23 rupees 30.5 rupees like that so here i return float price and here i return character author and inside square brackets i return 30 whenever you declare here 30 i can write author name of 30 characters maximum 30 characters next initialization and accessing of structures that means how we will initialize values to structures normally we will initialize values like this into pays equal to 10 float price equal to 30.52 and character author equal to nagendra but in structures we should not initialize values like this whenever you initialize values like this it will display error so there are some rules which we need to follow before initializing values we can initialize and access structures in three ways this is first way here i written hash include hdo.h that is header file and normal will declare structure outside the main function so after writing header file i written structure and name of the structure is data you can also call this name as structure tag here i written structure data I open curly bracket inside this I written int a character b and float c here I took three variables of different data type after that I close the curly bracket and here I written d equal to where d is short name of this data I am giving short name of this data as d so here I written d equal to for int a I took value as 10 and for character b I took b and for float c i took value as 10.5 we need to include these values inside curly brackets and we need to close this by using semicolon this is how we assign values to the variables i should not assign like this int a equal to 10 i should not assign like this there are three ways to assign values this is first way and after that i return int main and inside int main i return printf value of a is percentage d comma d dot a normally we will write like percentage d comma a but here we need to write d dot a that means value of a which is stored in d this is meaning so here i need to write d dot a and similarly print a value of b is for character percentage c comma d dot b and similarly print a value of c is for float percentage f comma d dot c and here i return return zero so by writing this program i will get output as value of a is 10 and value of b is b and value of c is 10.5 this is output this is first way of assigning values to structure and this is another way this is second way of assigning values to structures here at first i written header file as include dot h and here i written structure data where data is name of structure and inside that i written int a character b and float c and i closed curly bracket and i given semicolon after that i written int main and inside this int main i am assigning values to structure so i written structure data d where d is short name of this data so here i written structure data d equal to 10 b and 10.5 where we need to give values inside curly brackets and close with semicolon after that i written printf value of a is percentage d comma d dot a printf value of b is percentage c comma d dot b printf value of c is percentage f comma d dot c because all these values are stored in d so here i written d dot a d dot b and d dot c by writing this program i will get output as value of a is 10 value of b is b and value of c is 10.50 this is output this is third way of assigning values to structures here i written hash include ratio dot h after that i took structure data where data is structure name and inside that i written int a character b and float c after that i written int main function and i open curly bracket after that i declared structure data d where d is short name of this data so now i am assigning values d dot a equal to 13 d dot b equal to b and d dot c equal to 10.5 now for this three values i took three printf functions by writing this program i will get output as value of a is 10 b is b and c is 10.5 this is how we assign values to structures these are the three ways to assign values to structures next arrays of structures normally by using structures we can show details of only single book or single student like that but if i want to show details of multiple books or multiple students for that purpose i need to use arrays of structures this is example program here i took hash include issue dot h and hash include string dot h and here i took structure student 
I given such a name as student and inside this I written int rule number normally we will show rule numbers in integers like rule number 10 20 like that so here I written int rule number and character name 10 I given size as 10 you can show up to 10 characters and I closed this structure with curly bracket and after that I included semicolon after that I took int main and inside int main I written int i here this int i is for for loop so here I written int i and struct student std of i by writing this I can include details of 5 students after that I written here printf enter records of 5 students whenever you write this printf statement on output screen you can see enter record of 5 students after that I took for loop and inside for loop I written i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus that means I can show details of 5 students starting from 0 1 2 3 4 so inside this for loop I written printf enter rule number by writing this I can see enter rule number on output screen after that I written scanf percentage d and std i dot rule number where std is short name of the student so here i written std of i comma rule number whenever you write this you can enter rule number after executing a program after that again i written printf enter name and after that i written scanf percentage s here character name of 10 is string so here i written percentage s comma and std i dot name whenever you declare this you can write name of student after executing a program this for loop is just for giving input of rule number and student name and i need to take another for loop that is for output so in order to generate output i need to take another for loop that is i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus which you have given for input take same for loop i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus in and inside this for loop i written printf rule number normally we store rule number with percentage d and name with percentage s comma std i of rule number std i dot rule number comma std i dot name whenever you write this printf function whatever the names that you have entered it will be displayed on output screen so by writing this program you will get output as enter record of five students here i written enter record of five students so here I, here I will get enter record of 5 students and by using this for loop I can enter details of 5 students so here I took to scanf this is output print enter rule number of student so here I, I can see enter record of 5 students by taking this for loop and declaring two scanf functions I can enter details of 5 students so here I given 5 student names and rule numbers after this I took another for loop this is for output so by writing this printf function I will get output as student information list rule number 1 Nagendra whatever the details I, that I entered here it will appear here this is how we use arrays of structures this topic is unions in C whatever the variables of different data types which we are including in this union all members share the same memory location to define a union you must use union statement in the same way as you did in structures for structures we use struct keyword for unions we need to use union keyword that's it whatever the syntax that we declared in structures same syntax we need to write for union this is example here i turn syntax union union tag and inside this we can declare members this is an example here I written union book and inside union I written int pages float price character author 30 and close curly bracket and at last we need to include semicolon. This example is same as structures only difference is in structures here we use struct keyword and whereas for unions we need to use union keyword. By using unions we can print size, size of variables whatever the variables of various data types that you included in this union it will print size this is example program of union here i written hash include sh.h and hash include string.h here i took union data where data is union name and after i open curly bracket inside curly bracket i written int a float b and character c of 20 i closed curly bracket and then i closed it with semicolon after that i took int main and inside main function I written union data d where d is short name of this data here I written printf percentage d comma size of d 
whenever i write here size of d so it will print size of all these variables of different data types so by writing this percentage d comma size of d i will get output as 20 the name itself says union min by combining all these data types it will print size so i will get output as 20 bytes next topic is pointers in c the pointer in c language is a variable which stores the address of another variable by using pointers we can store address of variable either variable can be of any type like integer character float etc this pointer will store address of variable as we all know by using scanf we can assign value to the variable after executing a program i will give an example here i took int a and I did not give any value to this variable a. I will give value by using scanf function so that I return scanf percentage d comma and a where and represent address of a and is nothing but it is address. So by using this scanf function I can enter value after executing a program. So after executing a program I given value as 10. Whenever I assign value 10 this value 10 is stored in the address of a where and a represents address of a whatever the value that you give this value is stored in the address of a i will give one example so that you can clearly understand how pointers will work as we know we need to start c program with header file i written hash include sd.h and after that i written int main and inside main function i written int a equal to 43 that means i am assigning value 43 to this variable a where a is variable and 43 is value here i written printf percentage d comma a whenever you write this printf function whatever the value that is present inside this variable a will be generated as output so i will get output as 43 but i want to find address of this variable a i don't want this value i want address of this variable a so for that purpose i need to write printf percentage p where p represents pointer comma and a for address you need to write and even in printf you can use and a where and represents address so here i written percentage p comma and a now whenever i write this printf function i will get address of variable a this is the output for first printf function i will get output as 43 and for second printf function that is percentage p comma and a i will get address of variable a this is address of variable a that is 0x7ff this is nothing but it is address of variable a this variable a is stored in this address here address is nothing but storage location where our variable is stored here variable a is stored in this address here and here represents pointer so that i written here percentage p we represent pointer by using and symbol also create pointer variable and then we can assign address of various variables to this pointer variable i will give an example here i written int a equal to 43 after that i written int star b where star represents pointer variable whenever i write int star then this variable b is treated as pointer variable by using pointer variable we can store address of various variables now i will store address of this variable a in this pointer variable b so for that purpose i written int star b equal to and a where and represents address now this pointer variable b contains address of this a next i written printf percentage d comma a whenever you write this printf function whatever the value that is present in variable a will be generated as output so i will get output as 43 and similarly next i written printf percentage p where p represents pointer percentage p comma b that means this pointer variable p contains address of a now i will get output as 0x7ff so on so this is nothing but this is address of a variable a is stored in this address we can also create pointer to array this is example here i written int a of 10 as we know we will create array by using square brackets and inside square brackets i given array size as 10 now we need to create pointer in order to store address of this array a so that i written int star as i said before star represents pointer int star p of 10 equal to and a that means this pointer will store this address of this array we can also create pointer to structure this is example as we know we will create structure by using struct keyword and i am giving structure name as ht and inside this structure variable ht i written int i and float f and i am giving short name of this ht as s now we need to create pointer for that i written struct ht 
whatever I written here, I need to write here struct ht star p where star represents pointer variable. Now whenever you represent pointer variable, now you can store address of variable. Now I'm storing address of this structure. I given short name of this ht as s. So here I need to write and s. That means this pointer variable p will store address of this structure s. So the advantage of pointer, first advantage is it reduces code and then improve performance and second advantage is it returns multiple values for a function by using pointers we can return multiple values from a function and third advantage is by using pointers we can access any memory location in our computer these are the applications of pointers first first application is dynamic memory allocation dynamic memory allocation is done by malloc and as well as kloc functions in this we use pointers and second application is arrays functions and structures in arrays functions and structures we use pointers so that it will improve performance exam you can write this diagram pointers contains address of variable that contains value next topic is enumeration data type in c the enumeration in c is a user defined data type that provides integer values to meaningful names that means Whatever the names that we are giving by using enumeration data type, this enumeration data type will convert these names into integer values. By using enumeration data type, it is easy to maintain program and as well as it is easy to understand. The enumeration is defined by using enum keyword. For example, if you consider integer values, we will define integer with int keyword. Similarly for character, char keyword and similarly for enumeration data type, we use enum keyword. This is syntax of enumeration data type. First write enum keyword and then write enum name and inside curly brackets you can write n number of integer constants integer constants are nothing but names you can write n number of names inside this curly brackets this enumeration data type will convert these names into integer constants this is an example here i took at first i written enum keyword and after that i took enum name as fruits and i opened curly brackets inside this i written some fruits names like mango apple strawberry and papaya by default it will take starting name as zero so value of mango is zero and value of apple is one for strawberry two and similarly for papaya three so you will get output as zero one two three but i don't want default values i want some other values as output for that purpose i need to assign integer values to these names here i took mango value as three and similarly apple as four strawberry as 19 and papaya as 27 so i will get output as 3 4 19 and 27 i will give one simple program so that you can clearly understand how this enumeration data type will work here i took enumeration data type outside main function i took enum keyword and then i took enum name as week and inside curly brackets i written names of week like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday inside this right printf double quotations percentage d slash t percentage d slash t here i took total seven names here i took total seven names so i need to write seven format specifiers here you may get doubt like why i am using format specifier percentage d as percentage d belongs to integers why i am using this because it will convert these names into integer values here i did not given any values to these names so by default it will take first value as 0 and second value as 1 2 3 4 5 6 comma monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday now i will get output as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is use of enumeration keyword by using enumeration keyword you can convert these names into integer constants if you don't give any value by default it will take first value as zero and it will keep on incrementing the value this is another example here i written enumeration keyword and i took enumeration name as week and here i given value of monday as 10 whenever i assign any value to this first name then it will keep on incrementing the value here i given monday value as 10 so it will keep on incrementing the value value of tuesday is 11 next value of wednesday is 12 Thursday 13 friday 14 and saturday 15 and sunday 16 so whenever i give any value to this first name it will keep on incrementing the value so i will get output as 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is output. Whatever the names that I am using inside enumeration, same names I need to use here inside printf. For example, if I use here capital M, then here also I need to use capital M. Otherwise, I will get error. For example, if I return here full name, then here also I need to write full name. This is another example. In this example, I written printf percentage d comma Tuesday. As I said before, by default, it will take first value as 0 and second value as 1. Here I written percentage d and Tuesday. So I will get output as 1. For example, if I return here Friday, then I will get output as 4. 